Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from the Technology Firm. Today we're going to work a little bit on this uh, Ubiquiti Edge router and uh, just getting into it myself. So I thought I'd put together a couple of videos to help you get going as well with some of the basic obvious things that you should be doing. Uh, for example, uh, when you hook it up, you should have it, your Ethernet cable connected to the ETH0, ETH0 port. The reason is because that is the only port with a static IP. So that way you can get into the unit. You will not get DHCP and all that kind of stuff. Uh, all of that is in that little tiny card. If you have that little Ubiquiti card, it actually tells you that stuff. Some of the Ubiquiti products, the default IP was on the box. This one's in a little card. So the first thing you have to do is obviously connect your laptop desktop to that port. And from here, give yourself an address in that same subnet. I gave myself 11, so anything but one would work for you. From here, we go to your browser, 192.typo.168.1.1. And you can see it's complaining about the security certificate, which is normal. This is not a bad thing, so just continue to the website. And UBNT is the default login and the default password. And when you do that, it loads the main dashboard, as you can see. So from here, we have to upgrade the firmware. Even if you're not sure, just double check. Easiest way to do that, right here at the bottom, you can go to System and scroll down, 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 down to where it says you can upgrade your system image. And right there is the URL. Just click that. It'll take you right there. It'll open a new tab. Uh, and you'll see there's a list of all the products. Just find whatever product uh, you want or you're working on at that time. Uh, the easiest thing to do with this particular screen is to just pick the actual router. Uh, and you'll see it on the side. It says Air Max AC, so obviously that's not it. Um, and you can just go down this list. This is all wireless stuff. So let's choose Edge Max. And you'll see Edge Max Router Lite or PoE or whatever you happen to have. Go get the firmware, download it to your machine ahead of time, obviously. Um, if you do have a laptop and your Ethernet is connected to the actual router, then obviously your Wi-Fi will still work, and you can still do this while it's connected. I like to do it ahead of time, though. So here we go. Upload a file. I'm going to navigate to that uh, directory, wherever I happen to have that, uh, UBNT Edge OS, and there's the tar file. Click, click. And you can see it's checking, checking, checking. So if you accidentally get the wrong tar file, it will actually give you an error. Uh, if your download is corrupted, it will give you an error. So just let this thing run through its little dance. And then after that, we will actually upload it. And I'll show you what it does. I'm just going to pause the video so I don't want to, so you don't have to hear me yapping for the next few minutes. And I'll come back when it's done. All right, so it uh, was doing a little upload dance. It came back with this. It said upgrade complete. So in order for changes to take effect, you have to reboot your router. Hit reboot. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. And one of the things you'll notice, um, you'll see a grade in the background. It just says dashboard routing and firewall. The new one will actually have traffic analysis as a tab and a bunch of other stuff. But the old one was 1.66. That's what that said in the gray. And now you'll see that when this is done, it'll say 1.9 something or other. So again, I'll just pause this real quick. Oh, wait, came back. So let me proceed. Reload. It's probably going to be up by now. All right, so let's log into the box. Uh, you might want to just pay attention to your network. Um, I was trying to log in earlier, and it wouldn't work. And I realized I had a similar box with the same IP. So make sure you are completely disconnected from your other stuff. And it says routers in default config. Do you want to start with a basic setup wizard? We'll say no for now. Uh, and there you go. It's running. We see the traffic analysis tab. That's new. And we can see it's 1.9.1. Uh, that's it. So that's how you upgrade your firmware. Real quick. I'll have other videos on how to set up NAT and all that kind of jazz. Have a good day. Bye for now.